what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the drama zone uh, because uh, <laughs> every single day there is something new slash old that get wrapped in gets wrapped in a new i don't know piece of paper basically because th this week is just ridiculous like it's ridiculous it's lazio pre lazio week we play lazio in two days we play them on saturday and we haven't even talked about the game you know uh, we're only going to do that tomorrow because there's actually no time to talk about the game because of the stuff that is coming out at this moment in time. And the stuff that's coming out is sad, it's ridiculous, it's embarrassing, you name it. And this time is Bonucci speaking because uh, I want to say he finally spoke. Um, but finally, I mean, it took quite a lot in my opinion, you know, no, knowing the person like how he is. Um, I was not waiting on this because, well, I don't, I don't want to hear from him, but he had some stuff to say uh, that are just embarrassing because he he thinks he is that guy. He has the biggest ego I've ever seen at the club, basically, without backing it up. It's ridiculous. It's extremely sad how he, you know, digged his own hole, basically. And I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's just digging deeper and deeper because... Again, like he's trying to win sympathy, but he doesn't understand how he comes across, and it's ridiculous. It's um, it's unbelievable, actually. It's unreal what he had to say. But we will go over that. Before we do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, hit the bell notification, and let's go. Okay, so the Bonucci interview came out with Sport Media Set, whatever you want to call it. Um, and he had so many things to say, and I will go over it. I just want to clear the air already. If you don't like criticism of the club or players, skip this video because you're not going to like what I'm going to say. Um, I don't hate players, but he's making me, he's pushing me to actually start hating players, basically. Players that play for the club because I cannot stand the guy. I just can't stand him. Uh, I kept, like, I I tolerated it because he played for us, you know, uh, even though I made it very clear at times that I don't like him. But absolutely, I dislike him completely. As a person, obviously as a player the last couple of years, but now as a person, he has no self-awareness. He has no morals. He thinks he has, has them, but he, he doesn't. He's a hypocrite. And he has the biggest ego you will ever see. It's ridiculous. But let's go over the intro chronolog chronologically and let's uh, talk about what he had to say. So we opened up saying, I got humili humiliated, basically. He said, I like we reported some fake stories. It's not true that you told me months ago about their intention to part, way part ways with me. I got humiliated by Juven Juve. The humiliation I suffered after more than 500 games in black and white. I appreciate the solidarity of many players, even current ones, Juve and the other teams. They all express their support for the dis disrespectful, disrespectful behavior of the club. The Allegri said, and he said, that's going to go on forever because nobody can prove it at this point. It's his words against the word of the club. And that you can never clear up, basically. Even with reports, you can never clear up but the reports are out there way in advance that the club was trying to move him on and telling him it, you're done out here. And that was way before May. So I'm going, I'm leaning towards those reports because they were coming from good sources and they were consistent throughout the season, you know. But put that aside because it's word against word that will never, you know, be proven officially or like 100% basically. He said, I got humiliated by the club. Who the hell does he think he is i think he like he actually forget for like, i don't know i don't know if he forgets i think he's just does he's just that arrogant that he thinks i'm bigger than anyone i don't care that i joined milan i don't care i celebrated i don't care i told millions of fans to wash their mouths when you score at the stadium i think he thinks i'm i'm over that like i'm bigger than that you just need to forget that, blank that out of your memory. As of that's something that never happened, you know? How did he got humiliated by the club? How? 
I, like somebody needs to explain that and he needs to explain that because he hasn't explained that. You train alone because you're not part of the club and you had no place training with the first team. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And you cannot compare this to the, your daily work because it's different. Like the football world is different. But he's speaking about, I suffered. What the hell did you suffer? When players talk about that, and this not, has nothing to do with mental issues and like, uh, and like all these like real things. He's talking about suffering while being on six million euros, absolutely doing the bare minimum. And with the bare minimum, I'm being I'm being very nice. And he's saying I'm suffering. Why? All summer, nobody was complaining about it. Nobody was ma- writing stories about him. All the stories were, were about him complaining. He was putting himself in the news daily. Because sending letters from his lawyer, sending lander- letters, excuse me, or emails to the club, he posting, um, he posting quotes on Instagram, his wife doing the same, retweeting all these things. It was he. Like, he himself was putting himself in the news. He himself was putting himself in the spotlight because that's who he is. He wants to be in the spotlight, and now he's saying, the cop humiliated me. No, they didn't. They made a statement, you're out, and after that, no fan, like, actually no fan, was actually talking about you. Everybody accepted it, and they moved on. It was you bringing up this story every single day, basically. It was your actions reminding fans that oh, actually you're training separately because other than that absolutely nobody cared i stopped tweeting about his transfers for like a good three weeks because i couldn't care less where you're going i just tweeted it out he's joining a new in berlin and that's it because buddy i don't care you're not part of the team we accepted that and a lot of fans were happy me included that it was finally over and now he's saying we got he got humil- humiliated no no nobody cared like, absolutely nobody cared that you were training on your own. It was just you that cared, fine, but it was you to make a big fuss about it every single day. So I don't get why he's talking about getting humiliated. Like he is the last person to talk about that. And that's what I said at the start of the video. He's arrogant and he has no self-awareness at all. But let's move on because it gets it gets more wild than this, you know. He said, I only sent something by reading in the newspaper until... July 13. That's the first lie. He lied in the same interview, and I will spoil it because he will say it uh, in, a, in the following t- uh, quote. He said, after the Milan game, they told me I'm done. That Milan game was not was before July 13. So you're lying. You're absolutely lying in the same interview. That's my point. That's actually my point when I say I have no respect for this guy because he's lying in the same interview. He's saying, I only got the sense. But later on, he says, the club told me. After the game, after the Milan game, you're done. And now he's saying, I only got it now. He's an absolutely liar. <laughs> he lies in the same interview as well. But so when Juntulia Mana came to my ha- house and informed me that I would not longer be part of the UV squad and that my presence on the field would hinder the team's growth. Facts. In October, I was offered the opportunity to continue with, with the renewal. We continue together because the club understood the importance of having me on the locker room. You know what, buddy? Between October and July are like four, five months. Times change. Opinions change. Live with it. You, in that season, when he joined Milan, in that uh, Champions League season, whatever, in that season, before that Porto game, before that game against, was it Impoli we were playing at home? I'm not sure. Or no, Palermo. It was Palermo, I think, before the Porto game. Before that week, you were not thinking about, I'm ever going to leave this club. But you know what, buddy? You changed your opinion and you left. You left the club. So you cannot now say, oh, they told me something in October and they changed it at the end of the season. You did the same thing years back. You were not thinking about leaving, but at the end of the day, you cried like a little baby and you left to Milan. So things changed. So you cannot now sit, turn around and be like, oh, they d- said something and then they changed their opinion. So did you. So does every person. So does every club. In every part of the world, in every level, Opinions change. Things change. I don't know why he's acting all surprised and all those things. They came to you and they said that in a proper way. You're done. You're not part of the club. It's over. They came personally. What else do you want them to do? I don't like... And the, the mess up part is, it's not even the worst thing he said. <laughs> like, 
here comes the lie. So he just said, oh, they only told, like, I only got the sense her July of 13. And what about this quote? Coming straight from his own mouth. Like, can you not read signs? Are you that stupid? Like, and I don't want to insult somebody, but like, come on, buddy. Like, you cannot be this ignorant. Or are you that, like what I'm saying, that arrogant that you think, I don't care what they say, I'm Bonucci and I will do whatever I want. He said, Allegri only called me to his office at the end of March. March. So now <laughs> it's going from July to May to March, by the way. Before the Europa League match against Freiburg to tell me that, in his view, I will be best to accelerate my transition to coaching and stop playing football. I told him that I respected his opinion, but I didn't want to stop playing until Euro 24. After the last home game, again, here it comes a lie. <laughs> um, they informed me that I would be behind Gatti, Bremer, Danilo, and a young player from the next gen, becoming the fifth, sixth choice in defense and, and more of a mentor to the others. I accepted it without wanting to create any issues. After all, it would have been a similar, been similar to the previous seasons. In this quote along are three lies. He mixed up the dates because before he said 13 July, I only got the mix of it and Mana came to say that to me. But in this quote, he actually said before the Europa League in March, Allegri made it clear, you're not going to be part of it. That's one. And then after the Milan game, he said again, you know, they told me you're going to be six. Like, can you not read the signs? Can you, not, can you just not? And the other lie is that is, yeah, I'm accepting to be fifth, sixth choice because I want to go to the Euros. Are you that deluded or stupid? I'm sorry. Because how are you going to go to the Euros if you are not playing? If you are being benched by Dean Hoysen, basically, that's what he's saying. How are you going to go to the Euros? Not even Mancini will be that retarded and call you up. Because he will not survive the shitstorm that will come if you call up a player that's being benched by a 19-year-old. This guy is full of it. He is absolutely full of it. And that's why, and again, it's not done. I still have uh, two quotes, and then those are the most ridiculous one. That's why when people were telling me in the comments, he's a legend, I'm saying, don't do that in my comments, in my comment section. It's, it's your opinion. I get that. But please don't push that upon me because he's not a legend. It's not even close. It's not even close. What he did, did for the Azzurri, I couldn't care two tosses about. I don't care. This is a Juve channel. We're talking about Juve. I don't care what he does for Italy. I absolutely cannot care. But he's not a legend of the club. He will never be. It's not even close. That ship sailed, burned down, whatever, disappeared the moment he thought he was bigger than the club and left for Milan. It was done. Back then, it was done. He was never going to be a legend. He could have won, won 10 Champions League. I don't care. It's about principles he doesn't have. It's about morals. It's about respect. He absolutely does not have for anyone whatsoever because he thinks he's bigger than anyone at the club, which is ridiculous. But let's move on. He went on saying, and this is unbelievable. Like this proves my point about he thinking he's bigger than the club. He said, let me check this one. I. Right. He said, it's the second time I've been forced to leave Juve, both times to the stance of an individual, Allegri, who isn't me. Why everyone, what everyone can see is that I never had the kind of relationship I would have wanted with the coach. I have nothing against Juve. Juve is the fans. Um, sorry, against Juve. Juve, the fans, the team, my former teammates. I'm pursuing this case because the people who are supposed to leave, supposed to let me finish my career with Juve in a respectful and dif dignified manner did not do so. I have my character and many times I took positions for the good of the team. And my teammates, I created a, a breakdown that didn't allow me to finish my career as I would have liked. This is the biggest bullshit statement, quote, I've ever seen in my life from a guy with his track record. Let let's break it down. He said, I left twice because of Allegri. You left once because of Allegri. You left the first time because you are a crybaby. You thought you were bigger than the coach, a coach who was winning stuff, a coach who had everybody on the roll, everybody backed, and you thought you were going to be the big gun here. You are gonna, you thought you were going to be the big guy, and you thought you were going to overthrow the coach, a coach who was winning stuff. That was never going to happen. When he says, I, I, I want the relationship and I did it, then why did you came back? Why did you came back after the Milan uh, debacle? Why? 
you hated Allegri. So why did you came back? Like what 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 what's what's the what what's the excuse for the coming back then? This guy is full of it. Like he's a hypocrite. He's lying. Like he is lying through his teeth. He has absolutely no morals whatsoever. And then he goes on saying excuse me. He goes on saying, um, I wanted to do it in a respectful way. I want to end my, my, my career in a respectful way because you showed a lot of respect throughout your career for the club. Did you? Like, absolutely, did you? No, he did not. He did not. So I don't know what he's on about again. And then he says, I took my positions for the good of the team. I have a character um, and it's hard to handle. What good of the team? What good of the team... Are you taking your stance? We were winning at the time. Like, what was your issue about winning? What was your issue? We were winning at the time. And you were trying to undermine a coach that was never going to slide. Because Allegri was a real coach back at the time. He was very good. And he was not going to get, gonna get, back, gonna get excuse me, humiliated. That's actually what happened in the Palermo game. Humiliated. That was never going to slide. And I backed Allegri with that decision back then because if you want to keep the respect of your rocker room, you needed to punish Bonucci for that. You cannot let it slide because nobody in that locker room will respect you. But by doing that, the locker room was on notice that there's only one guy here who is in charge, and that's at every single team. The coach is in charge. If you have an issue, you do that behind closed doors. I've always said that. I'm not the biggest Allegri fan. But when I see players moaning and calling them out on the pitch, I'm like, no, you don't do that. And I'm not the biggest Allegri fan at this moment in time. You do that behind closed doors. You sort that issues out behind closed doors. You don't do that in front of the world because you're humiliated a guy who is in charge at the end of the day. You cannot do that. If you go at work and you scream to your boss or you tell your boss off in front of all your coworkers, what do you think is going to happen? If you have something to say, you do that in private. You don't do that in front of every, uh, every, all of your colleagues, excuse me, because it's never going to slide. <laughs> no boss is going to be like, see you tomorrow, buddy. That's, not just, that's just not going to happen. Never. And he, again, thought he was bigger than this club. Keep in mind, 2012, Del Piero was out of contract, but he was promised by Inelli, you're getting a new deal, you're going to finally play that Champions League because you deserve that because you went down with us in Serie B. You deserve to get a shot and play the Champions League. Conte told Agnelli, I don't want him at the team anymore. I don't need him. And he's taking up a spot. I'm not going to play him. And Agnelli turned that around and told Alec Del Piero, you know what? That deal, I promise you, is off the table. That was disrespectful. He said, I promise you, and that's off the table to an actual legend of the club. What did Del Piero do? Did he give an interview? Did he sue the club whatsoever? Like, I'm pushing it. Did that happen? No. And that was freaking Del Piero. Probably the biggest player to play for this club in terms of, like, aura. He is the biggest legend of our club. He is. He is for so many reasons. And he knew that I'm just going to accept this because at the end of the day, not even Del Piero, and he is my favorite player ever, and he, in my opinion, he is the biggest legend of this club. Not even though Piero is bigger than the club. No player that will ever wear this shirt or ever has worn this shirt is going to be bigger than, the, than this club. Because at the end of the year, at the end of the day, one year, two years, or 17 years with the club, it ends. The club lives on. The club has been here for over, I don't know, 125, I don't know, years. It lives on. It doesn't stop with Bonucci, and he thinks it stops with Bonucci. That's what I get from those statements. It's absolutely crazy. He thinks he's demanding. He thinks he is a legend, and that's the issue. Like He absolutely believes he is a legend of this club when he is absolutely no legend of this club. I don't care that you play 500 games. Alexandro played 300. Like Alexandro is a player with the most games for non-Italian players. I don't think Alexandro is a legend. Of this club. I don't. I don't. It doesn't mean. Like playing games. Doesn't mean. You know what. It doesn't. It needs more. To be one of those guys. It needs a lot more. And you joining Milan. Done. The things you come out and say. The way you. Presented yourself. To your teammates. And all those things. It's just a no go. This guy. 
and again, in this interview, he lied like three or four times. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's, that's why I'm like, you cannot prove who's right and wrong with the, with I've told you in February or what. But I'm leaning towards the club just based on this interview where he's lying. And he's actually, he's actually lying in the same quote. It's ridiculous. He said, from being excluded from the squad, it led to a legal dispute because of my rights stipulated that I should have been allowed to train with the team regardless of the coaching decision and be prepared physically and athletically for the following season. It's not about money. If I were to win this case, I will donate it all to charity. Furthermore, I want my situation to be a crucial point for the players' union of who I'm a council member. He is doing this because he got... According to him, humiliated. He's not doing it for the good of all the players. He's absolutely not doing that. If you want to believe that, fine. <laughs> he's not that guy. I'm sorry. He's just not. Like the past actions proved he's not that guy. He isn't. And this interview, I, I read it and I was like, this guy just can't be serious. He can be. He cannot be serious. You cannot be serious with all these things coming out. You just can't. The fact that, for me personally, <laughs> all the things that happened, points deduction, the injuries with like, uh, Achilles, excuse me, Pogba, doping, this pisses me off the most. This pisses me off the most because he is acting like he is one of the big guys. He's acting all innocent. He is acting arrogant. He has an extremely big ego, and I have no idea why. He's lying in the same freaking interview, in the same quote, in the same sentence. It's, it's actually ridiculous what's happening, you know? And he's trying to tell us off. And then he comes, I don't have a problem with the fans. You know what, buddy? The fans have with you. And they've always had. When he comes up, I want to mentor the kids. You are mentoring Jack, you know what? You're terrible. You cost us in this few minutes you actually played last season. You are done. And the club knew you were done. Now, if he turned around and told me, you know, there are the other players at the club that should, you know, should leave and they're still there, I would agree with you. I will. And I've always said that. But you're one of them and you're out for now. And that's all I want. Or like, that's all that happened now. Excuse me. That's not all I want. But this interview, it was just like, and he will come out. He, this is a guy that will speak for many years about this. And then he comes out saying, in the future, you never know. I want to be the coach of Juve. You think... <laughs> I'm not even going into this because otherwise this video will be like two hours long. I it will like he like, like he cannot read a room. This guy is just unbelievable. He's arrogant. He has a big like he thinks so highly of himself, and he thinks he's better than anyone. That's how he comes across. That's the interview. What he said, what he was lying through his teeth. It's just mad. It's just absolutely mad, you know. And tomorrow, Bonucci, uh, he will, Bonucci questions will be asked by Allegri. If I were Allegri, and I hope he does that, he will. I, if I were Allegri, and I hope he does that, he tells the journalist next question on Lazio, please. He doesn't need to respond to this. He absolutely does not because we need to focus on playing football, winning games. Now he's gone. Let it slide. Let it go. Let it go. If you want to talk about Benucci, you can do that in the off season in an interview. I don't care. But tomorrow, please, if you get a question related to this uh, clown, and I'm calling it clown because I have enough of him. I've had enough of him. Please just defer the question. Say, no, I'm not doing this. We're playing Lazio, key game tomorrow. Ask me about Lazio. I'm not going to do this. And he, he can do that because he, he's in charge. He need, doesn't need to respond to this. Because this is childish. This is stupid. But whatever. Um, I went on much longer than I wanted. Um, I'm gonna turn to football. To uh, yeah, football <laughs> tomorrow. I will do my preview tomorrow live. Julian's preview will drop uh, in the morning uh, tomorrow, so Friday. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, I will do no match reaction because I'm out. My match reaction will be live on Sunday the breakdown as well as the player ratings that will drop on Sunday evening because uh, I have stuff to do. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, keep it nice, as always, clean between each other as well. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys live tomorrow evening to preview uh, a big game, a key game at home. So yeah. yeah.